What's happening, dogs? Mr. Allen here with some solving of systems of equations by graphing. You got elimination method, you got substitution, and we also have graphing. So we're going to practice that one in this video right here. One important reminder, though, is that no matter how you solve a system, the solution is the point at which those two intersect. All right. I prefer to have these in slope intercept form, and we already are, which is beautiful. So my y intercept is 3. 1, 2, 3. I'm going to put a point right here. And my slope is 2, so I can go up 2 over 1. I'm going to be off the graph there, so I'll go down 2 to the left 1. Down 2 to the left 1. Now, one thing to note there is I went negative, negative, which is positive. All right. Then I'm going to connect these. Do I have a straight edge? Oh, I do. All right. Excellent. Make it nice. Real nice. Okay. So we're going to pass through there. Eee, beautiful. Whoa. That'll work. All right. Now, next one. I'll do it in a different color. I'll do it in green for this one. All right. So I'm going to start at negative 2, even though I just erased that a little bit. Negative 2. And then we're at 1 third. So we're going to go up 1 over. Oops. Hold all the right. All right, let's do this one in green here. So we got a y-intercept of negative 2, so down 2 here. And then I've got 1 third for my slope. So I'm going to go up 1 over 3. Up 1 over 3. Hmm, these aren't connecting. But wait, let's go down 1 to the left 3, and there we go. That would be our point of intersection there. Let's see here. Connect these bad boys with a straight edge. Usually you'll be asked to still graph them regardless you know, uh, where that solution is or whatever the solution is. They want you to graph them, but then also circle that solution and write it down. So let's see, we got one, two, three, down one, two, three. So negative three, negative three. There's my solution. We also have it on the graph, bibbity boppity. All right, nice. First one done. Let's do another one. I'll go orange on this one. So here I have a y-intercept of five. So one, two, three, four, five. And I have a negative 3 for my slope. So I'm going to go down 3 and to the right 1. Down 3 to the right 1. I'll do a couple more. Beautiful. Uh, adding in a lot of these points can be super helpful, especially if you don't have a straight edge with you or if you're not the best at using your straight edge. Um, plotting all the points here will ensure that you see exactly where it is crossing so that when you get your two lines to intersect, you know you have the correct answer. All right? So there we go with that one. And then let's do negative two here. I'll go with a yellow marker now. So down two for my y-intercept. I'm going to go up one over two. I don't even have to plot any other line, or any, any other points there. I already know where my solution is, but let's connect the dots. Make it look dope. You know what I mean? All right. Beautiful, wonderful, awesome. Whoops. Excellent, excellent. There's my solution, which is, let's see here, one, two, down one. So we get two, comma, negative one. There we go. That's my answer. Got my graph as well. Dang, that's dope. Two equations solved by graphing where we have a solution here. Perhaps in another video, we'll do ones where we have either no solution or infinitely many solutions. That sounds awesome. All right, see you guys later.